Hi grade fours, welcome to your next lesson of recorded this time. This is actually our third and final lesson before I let you go practice for our midterm assessment. But I'm gonna tell you more about that at the end of this video. So make sure you don't just skip to the piece and then skip out or else you wouldn't know what I'm expecting from you for your midterm assessment. So let's get to this piece. It's a nice, easy, sweet piece that will allow you to get better with your tum tea rhythm, but will also allow you to focus on the main piece I want to hear, which is Go tell it on the mountain. So let's zoom into this piece and let's see what we got. So we have holiday round. Nice easy piece. Only thing we need to watch out for is the repeat sign at the end. It's as simple as old Joe Clark except we have a tum T rhythm. So when we get to the end, just like old Joe Clark, when we see that repeat sign, we take it back. However, there's also one last thing I want you to see. You see these two Roman numerals up here? This, these Roman numerals are spell number two. Hopefully you know some Roman numerals. This means we're gonna hold this B note with our second fingering. Now, when we're coming from a high C or from a high D, we usually like to hold this B with this separate fingering. Why? Because it's more comfortable and it's not as awkward as going into that mosquito grip. So the way we hold this B is, imagine you're holding a G and all you do is take out your index finger. That right there is a B and it's the exact same B as this B. It's this, this B is just the second fingering, and you can think of it as a B with two fingers. So the second fingering has two fingers right there. Just skip that first hole. Skip the hole that you usually hold for a B, all right? So you're down here. They both sound exactly the same. Listen. That's the second fingering. This is the first fingering. First fingering again. Second fingering. No difference. It's just this second one is easier to get to when coming from a high C. So look at a high C here. I just have to add one finger. Whereas when I'm doing the B, from this high C to the B, with the first fingering, it's a bit... There's a lot of movement there, especially even from the high D. I'm putting two separate fingers. Whereas if you go from the high D to the B with the second fingering, I'm adding two fingers to a note that's already there. Okay? So, get used to that second B fingering. If you still want to use the first one, that's fine, but this second one will help you a lot and make you a bit better in your recorded playing. So let's start off by reading the rhythm for holiday round. One, two, three, let's go. Ta, 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 ah, ta, ta, Tum ti 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 ta ta ah. All right. So that tum ti rhythm, tum ti ti ti, takes you to a whole cascade of tds right there. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Then you do it by yourself, and that on that repeat. All right. So after the repeat, you're gonna do it by yourself. Together, go. Ta 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 ah. Ta ta. Tum ti 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 ta ta ah your turn. All right, not too hard. Let's get to playing it. So first up, we have a G. Big skip over to a low D, and then back to the G. So let's go for it. One, two, three. Don't forget to hold that second G for two beats. Let's go. Three, go. Pretty easy. Let's go G, A, B, B. Let's go for it. Go. Again. Let's put bar one and bar two together. Ready? Go. Let's take it for bar number three on that B, B, C, C, D, D, B, B. Then we even come back down for that B, B, C, C, D, D, C, C, B, B. Let's try and reach this B that uses the second fingering. So from B going up to the D, coming back down to this B. So once you reach here, don't get stuck there. Make sure you move your eyes real quick for the next part. Let's go for it. Nice and slow. Go. Again from here. All 
Then finish with a nice A, G for two beats. Then you repeat. So let's go for that A, G. Go. Pretty easy. Let's take it from this B all the way up until this G. From the B with the eighth notes. Ready? Go. One more time. Let's put the whole thing together. One, two, three, let's go. That's the whole piece, but not yet, not so fast, because we gotta play the whole thing twice, because of that repeat sign. All right, so let's now do it once, and then we repeat it. And then we'll be finished with the piece. One, two, three, let's go. One more time, one more time with the repeat. One, two, three, let's go. And just like that, we have the holiday round. So make sure you add this second B into your arsenal of notes so you can get better from changing from C's and D's to a B. Really helpful when you can do that. All right, grade fours, and that's how you play holiday round. So for your midterm assessment, what I'm expecting from you is you have to play two pieces. And the first piece has to be Go Tell It on the Mountain. And the second piece can be either Holiday Round or Old Joe Clark. They're both pretty short pieces, about one line long, and they both have a repeat. All right, just don't get lost with Old Joe Clark because I don't want you to play the harmonies. I just want you to play that melody, that top line. So you have to play two pieces. One of them has to be when the saints go marching in. So don't go ahead and play or practice Old Joe Clark and Holiday Round alone and forget Go tell it on the mountain. I need to hear go tell it on the mountain from everyone and then they can pick their second piece, either old Joe Clark or holiday round. So pretty straightforward. So don't just practice one, practice two. And don't just practice the wrong two, practice the correct one and then choose your second one, okay? So have fun practicing grade fours. You can easily do this as long as you spend the time to practice and read your music. All right. So make sure you have your recorders both at home. Make sure you carry them at school so you can practice with some of your friends. But don't forget to practice. All right, grade fours, have fun practicing, and I can't wait to hear you perform very soon. Bye for now.